Well, I just got my cable bill in the mail and they put a little instruction sheet saying that they're raising my rates by 10 bucks for the basic cable. Right now I'm paying 78.45 for basic cable and that'll go up another 10 bucks. So really, I tell you, it's not worth it. it. The television is crap. I mean, that includes no HBO, no Cinemax, no special channels or sporting events, nothing. Just like 60 channels of crap. The only reason why we use it is occasionally at night, the wife and I will watch NBC or Fox and local news. And that's it. That's the only reason why we keep it. In my opinion, it's not worth 90 bucks. Now, I have tried other products in the past, and they work, but I'm still not getting local service. Now, I have heard of others using an antenna like this to pick up digital cable signals. And when they switched over from analog to digital, all the stations were required to broadcast their digital signal. And so you can pick that up. Now, I'm about 35 to 40 miles away from a cluster of antennas and there should be about eight to ten channels in there and it includes all the local channels so if I can get that with something like this I can save eighty or ninety dollars a month and as far as regular entertainment we have a, a Roku digital TV that we use through the internet we can watch television like that or movies so that's covered so all I have to worry about is this basic, uh, you know, local channel stuff. Now I will tell you, I tried a digital antenna in the past and it did not work. It was one of those squares that you mount in the window and it didn't get not one channel. And I think that was 20 or 25. Now I was at Big Lots and this was 20 bucks. They had this style and they had some others, but this looked the most interesting. And it's kind of ugly and cheap looking, but I was going to mount it up in my attic at my house and you wouldn't see it anyway. And I could just point it at that cluster of antennas that broadcast and pick them all up, hopefully. It does have a rotor system that you can turn with a remote, but once you set it, hopefully I'll just leave it. So I figured for 20 bucks, I'd give this digital antenna thing one more try. And if it works and I'm able to pick up anything and I think I can do better, then uh, I may invest a little more and get an even better antenna. I know they have them for upwards of $200, but uh, you know, paying for this twice would pay for an antenna like that. And the reason why I've shied away from antennas like this in the past is I can remember the old analog antennas that look very much like this. And you had to turn them and mess with them and you'd get snowy pictures and it just didn't work out very great so this kind of reminds me of that back in the analog day but i realize this is different when you tune in a digital signal it's crystal clear or it's nothing so anyway i'm going to go ahead and put this together on camera day and you'll see the results of what happens and maybe it'll work for you too and you can get rid of this nonsense 80 90 dollars a month for basic cable that's crap anyway so let's go ahead and get started with our free local channel quest let's get started <laughs> So I don't expect much from this kit. I can tell you there's a lot of pieces in here. Let's get them out on the table and see what we have. Some aluminum. Some brackets. Plastic. Another bracket. Two of those, some zip ties, some more tubing, well look at that, there's our little controller, not much for the build quality, it's got some coaxial connectors on the back and it's got our 110 connection. 
Oh look, here's the companion, our super duper remote. So super cheap looking, it's ridiculous. Again, I plan on putting this in the attic, so I'm not real concerned with the way it looks. As long as I get free TV, I'm golden. Here's a little instruction sheet. Some more various tubing. A goodie bag full of screws and plastic pieces. And our main rotor assembly with the coax attached. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> Anyway, I wouldn't put this outside, and if you do, don't plan on moving it because it doesn't look very waterproof. But, uh, hey, let's put this thing together. What I'll do is I'll get the instructions, and I'll put this video on fast forward, and we'll see how long this takes me to get it together. So let's do that now. Okay, this wire is coming from the antenna. Right there it says antenna in. So this is good for two TVs. Um, this first one is for the first TV. And then you can get a second wire and put it here so you can actually run two TVs off this one box. So, almost there. Let's give the box some power. Let's turn our little box on here. So there's a button on here that says rotation. Let's see what happens when I press it. Look at that. Looks like it goes all the way around. So you might have to be careful. Well, it stopped. Let's see how far it'll go. So not bad for 20 bucks. I can see my wires getting caught up here. That's where you'd have to cable tie it, probably. I'll put it like that for now. Let's try it again. So when you let off the button and you press it again, it goes in the other direction. So that's as far as it went. I'm still holding the button. Let's see how far it goes. It's almost a 360. Yep, it does a complete 360. Cool. Well, look at there. Let's try these channels out. Looks pretty good to me. So all together I'm getting about six or eight channels and I'm just pointing the antenna out the window here. I plan on taking this home and mounting it up so it's going to be a little bit different reception. But I got to tell you I'm pretty satisfied with this. I can't believe how well it's working. In fact I'm considering now putting it outside because I think I could even do better. I'm getting CBS, NBC, ABC, plus some of these old school channels. And I'm going through a window with it, you know. Retro TV. <laughs> Let me show you where I have it mounted at. There it is. I've just got it on a tripod sitting here in front of the window. And it's doing just fine. So when I take it home or put it in the attic or mount it outside, it should uh, pick up great. Now, if I do take this outside, I'm going to have to, uh, 
I think I'm gonna have to glue these little fins on you know those just press mount in and I think a good wind would blow those right out so I might want to pull all those out and stick some glue in there or I might just go get a better antenna I'm inspired now great I'm pretty satisfied let's go out for some final thoughts on this I gotta tell you guys I'm super excited that this has worked it's really renewed my faith in saving money you know when I tried that little one for the window it really I kinda lost all hope of a digital TV work and I thought I was just too far away but this renewed my faith and I'm gonna take this home and mount it in the attic and see how it does and then I'm gonna take it outside and see how it does and what the difference is if I can pick up even more and if it's worth it to put it outside if I do put it outside I'm gonna have to glue some of these fins on I think it's just too flimsy to last in any wind you know so I'll just glue the little fins on if I do decide to do that I've got an old direct TV dish out in my yard at home and I'm thinking about just popping it off the mast and then hooking this to the pole you know so if you guys want to save 90 bucks or so go get yourself one of these like I said big lots had these for 20 bucks they had a whole bunch of them and uh, you can get it there now I know that they also sell this on Amazon and I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to get one and you don't have a big lots in your area and I encourage you to give it a try so thanks for watching I hope you got some use out of this and I hope that you can save money on your crazy cable bill that's just robbery charging you a hundred bucks for something like that so we'll see you next time don't forget to give us a thumbs up Leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. You don't want that cracker? Why? Because it don't have cheese on it? That's a picky dog, huh?